The European Parliament is meeting for the final time before May's EU elections. MEPs are gathering in the French city of Strasbourg, the Assembly's second seat. Over the past five years, parliamentarians have voted more than 22,000 times and approved 970 laws. In this report, we look back at how people remember this mandate. What was the most important decision of the European Parliament in the last five years? Ah, uh, good question. Very good question. Yes. Yes. He must do um, uh, democracy and uh, liberty. <laughs> it's also the final plenary session for some parliament veterans. Hans-Gurt Pöttering of Germany is retiring. He served as an MEP since 1979, the year of the first EU election ever. In 1979, Europe was divided. My country, Germany, was divided. And now Germany is united and Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia, Bulgaria, Romania and Croatia are members of the European Union and in 1979 this would have been a miracle to think about this. It's also been a steep learning curve for some MEPs. Amelia Anders Dotter, a Swedish member representing the Pirate Party, is just 26 years old. She's the youngest member of the European Parliament. Well, the European Union is constantly trying to adjust itself and one of the things that we have suffered from in this legislature is um, speed, that we try to do things too quickly. Another veteran standing down is Daniel Cohn-Bendit, a French Green MEP. He spent two decades in European politics. I made a, an important con contribution to demonstrate that European identity exists. And you can have a European identity without passing through a national identity. <laughs> With Eurosceptic and nationalist parties riding high in the opinion polls, the next European Parliament could look very different to this one.